Largest run of Chinook salmon in about four decades wrapped up in the Lemhi River Valley not very long ago. Local News 8's Tyler Berg joining us now. Tyler, you got a grand tour. Oh, why? Why was this such a good year? Well, Carol, a lot is at work here. You have several ranchers, landowners, and agencies all working together to make the valley a better habitat for spawning fish. Over 100 years, maybe 150 years, there was no water in Timber Creek at this time of year. Three years ago, rancher Merrill Beeler decided to pump water from the Lemhi River rather than Big Timber Creek. Now that once empty creek provides a cooler spawning habitat. He guesses the spawning area for salmon in the Lemhi River Valley increased threefold in just a decade. And one of those fish moved out of Big Timber Creek down the Lemhi and pinged through every pit ray station clear to the Pacific Ocean. And so I think that was a great win, not only for ranching, but for our, our environment. You know, we really do want to take care of it uh, and stay in business at the same time. But I think they go hand in hand. Rancher Carl Lufkin manages the Ledor Angus Ranch. This year, more than 1,300 Chinook salmon migrated through the ranch on the Lamhai River. Thanks to public lands, his cattle only graze here in winter when the ground's frozen and the soil's stable, keeping the Lamhai and Big Springs Creek in better shape whole bunch. for summer spawning fish. They're going to be right here if we don't have the opportunity to graze out there. It helps the producers out and it also helps the land management. Linda Price, a field manager for the Bureau of Land Management, says the relationship with private landowners here is unheard of. I've been around the BLM for 25 years, and I have not seen anywhere else the level of cooperation and working together that we have in this area. Another rancher, Nikos Monoyos, made a huge contribution, donating a 5,112-acre conservation easement to the Lemhi Regional Land Trust, with another donated easement with two and a half miles of Lemhi Riverfront on the way later this year. Conservation easements can come in two forms. They can either be purchased or they can be donated. And this particular easement was donated, so it was an incredible gift, really, to the public. Yeah. Minoyos also planted 11,000 feet of pipe on his Eagle Valley ranch to provide more water to Bohannon Creek rather than sit in a ditch. Because less water would evaporate and get lost uh, through leaks uh, from the ditch, and more water would stay in the stream for the benefit of the fish. A decade ago, Bohannon Creek was free of spawning fish, but now? This year, I believe we had over 35 uh, reds, which are spawning uh, spots for uh, steelhead trout on Bohannon Creek. And then there's the Idaho Fish and Games Fish Screen Passage and Habitat Program to keep salmon and steelhead from getting stuck in ditch systems from the more than 80 diversions on the Lemhi. The screen program is kind of a cornerstone to some of the habitat because even if we work on habitat and reconnecting tributaries, if we're losing that production in the irrigation ditches, it's kind of a wash, it's all for naught. So. Patty Murphy, the coordinator for that fish and game program, says without those screens, the Chinook salmon probably would have disappeared from the valley decades ago. Live in the studio, I'm Tyler Berg. Good story, Tyler. Those uh, screening stations are also on private property, but to be accessible, they're very accessible to fish and game, and that is thanks to the easements given by the ranchers. Well, what a, what a great gift, though, those just, they're just doing. just goes to show you yeah. don't have to be adversaries. Yeah. You just have to make it work together. It can yeah. happen. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> The legislature.